Today is July the 24th, 2014. My name is Tanya Fincham, along with Alex Bishop. We're with Oklahoma State University, and today we're in Bethany, Oklahoma, to speak with Glenn Gorell. Glenn Gorell. Glenn Gorell. And this is in regards to our 100 year life project. Yeah, so, yeah. thank you very much for having us. I just changed that. I mean, I just went up one. 101? No, I just went up to uh, Oh, you just went up to 100. 100, well, I think it is. So let's start with having you tell us when and where you were born. Oh, well, I was born outside of Ponca City, 1914, okay. and, and uh, on a farm. And what day and month? June the 24th, 1914. Were you born at home? Yeah, everybody was born at home when I was that way. What did your parents do for a living? You tell them what I did. I can't remember. <laughs> no. what, what? Oh, uh, they had a, a pretty good farm, and then they didn't, my dad didn't. Did a lot of stuff it didn't melt too much, so it's not worth mentioning. Okay. But that's what I was back to. The more the major thing was farming. Farming? What did he farm? Cattle or wheat or? No, it was, uh, it was uh, grain and stuff like that. Okay. wasn't no cat. Well, it was a little bit of cattle, but but uh, wasn't too much. But it was secondary. Did you have brothers and sisters? Oh, well, I had a brother and a sister older than me. I was the youngest one. You were the baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I worked on that, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you have chores on the farm? Oh, yeah, yeah. What were a few of them? Oh, we had to take care of the livestock. And that was the major thing. We all had little jobs to do, like everybody else does. Mm -hmm. Didn't mount too much, but it was all responsibility, and we kept it. We done it. What were a couple of yours? Huh? What were a couple of your jobs on the farm? Oh, just old regular old regular stuff to do, is chores and stuff like that. That's the average person to do. Take nothing big and nothing small. Take care of the chickens. Oh well, yeah we. That was part of it, but my mom, she kind of kept care of the chicken, you know. That was her job. <laughs> but uh, I, I helped quite a bit. Did she have a very big garden? Oh, yeah, she had a nice garden, yeah. In fact, I had to keep it going myself. Mm -hmm. So I shouldn't have known so good. <laughs> she did canning? Huh? Did she can a lot oh, of yeah, things? Yeah, she canned a lot. Where did you go to elementary school? Ponk City, outside of Ponk City, a little small place. A one room? Well, the first time, first one to us, yeah. yeah. Yeah, when I went to them, of course, that was a long time ago. We was, uh, everything was one room. In our schoolhouse and everything else was with this one room. They'd done several classes in that one room, you know. And how would you get there? Walk. Yeah. Most of the time. Because I really didn't live too far away. And what might, what might you take for lunch? Do what? What would you take for lunch? Well, Mama would fix it for me and I'd roll it up in the paper in a newspaper. And that's how, that's how I went to, I took it to school. Mm. <laughs> and it's pretty good eating too. There's, and I'd have it at noon. The old farm people is all they were. Yeah. What was the house like? Oh, we had a nice house. It was uh, my uh, mother, folks, got it in the, in the strip. And uh, when they, they used to run 
on that that uh, put a bunch of a, 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 a lad out there to run, and you a certain time at a certain age you'd they'd uh, put a run on, and you run the, you got the place that you ru you'd run to. Mm -hmm. If you're lucky, you got it. Of course, they was all they was all uh, what they call sooners. They would come there a day or two later to see what they wanted and everything, you know. And, and of course, the people had ways of, of telling how long they'd been there and everything. But that was kind of standard. Them old them people down there, they, 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 tried to, they called them Sooners. Mm -hmm. They was lived there a little early, see. Yeah. But most of them dishonest. And any time you get a crowd of people, there's going to be some crooks, period. Did the house have running water? No, well, no. Uh, what? We had a good well, though, right there. And we had a little hut over it, pretty good size. And uh, that well was right up there next to the, our kitchen door. We had real good water and uh, plenty of it. Electricity? Well, now we didn't get electricity a little later. So, uh, I think I was probably 10 or 12 when we got electricity. Mm -hmm. Had a big deal, boy. But I mean big. But we had a, we lived about a half a mile from a nice little town that had everything. And, and uh, I spent all my time there. But you mean Ponca City? Yeah, well, uh, that was uh, outside of Park City, and the town was not near big as Park City. What was, what was the name of it? Uncas. Uncas. Uncas? Yeah. That, that was a chief of some, some kind of an Indian out there. Mm. I forget which one it is. UNCAS. I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> the old farm stuff, you know. Yeah, I went to, well, uh, it was a popular thing, a, a single stool to start with, and they had uh, about everything, and we had it all together, and we had different classes in the same room, mm -hmm. and uh, them old teachers would let us know which, who's going to be up in class. We all went to the front of it. That was when I was younger, you know. We all went to the front row. And uh, that's how we held our classes. Big, big deal. Did they have pie suppers? Huh? Did they have pie suppers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've bought, it, I've saw, I've bought it several of them. <laughs> My girlfriend's folks had it, you know. They said it was her, but I know it was her folks made it, or that her mother. But yeah, we had a lot of pie suppers. How about dances? I was a good dancer. You were? Yeah, I was a public dancer and a, a modern, modern dancer, yeah. That's how I got all my girlfriends. <laughs> Most of them, you know, them old men to get out there like a damn board. They were stiff as a board, say, but I was a good dancer. My folks, I come from a good dancing family. Of course, I was better than them. Of course. <laughs> They're not here, see. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have favorite music? Yeah, I had that. Some of some that modern stuff that I like to dance real good with. I was, I was a pretty good dancer. That's how, like I said, that's how I got off a girlfriend. I, I'm not sure what you mean by modern, though. Well, when you're uh, in that deal, there's a, the old dancers. They dance a certain way, 
and the younger one asked the, what they called the modern way, and I was the modern way. But I was a good dancer. I come from a good family. There's a good dancer, all of them. But I was the best, of course. <laughs> well, where did you go to high school? Oh, that was a. Hell, I, I can't remember just the exact date. It's a, about the early 20s, I think, when we started to. It might have been later than that. Hell, I don't remember. Did you go to Ponca or did the yeah, little town yeah. have Ponca did? Well, now, the first deal was that little old, little old school in Mount Dothan. Mm -hmm. And I, when I go to uh, Golder, I got a little better deal, you know. But it was, I was well satisfied with it. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad, but it was just about right. Well, how would you get to high school? Well, I just lived a half a mile. Okay, so. From most of it, but then after that, it was the uh, high schoolers. Well, I was in the grade schoolers. And after I got to high school, I had to, well, we had to, oh, uh, take her, or uh, we had to go about 10, 12 miles to go to school. Well, they had cars, you know. You, you would be a furnished your car for a week, you know, and somebody else for for a week, and that's how they done it. Take turns. Take turns, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, after high school, what did you do? Little, li the least I could. <laughs> now you be honest. Don't with, print you that. be honest with me. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I played uh, a lot of ball. I was a good ball player. What kind? And uh, uh, baseball. Baseball. Yeah, I, of course that's all we had to do. You see, a, so I, I was a pretty good ball player. That's in fact I got me in a lot of places. Played left field. Yeah, that got me a lot of places I wouldn't have got it for otherwise. That's a, Do you have any memories of the Dust Bowl? Oh, yeah, I sure did. I've seen it coming, just roll in, real slow, up there in Ponca City, where I was living, that outside of Ponca City where I was living at the time, you see the old dust bowls rolling in real slow. And it'd be about uh, oh, 30 or 40 feet high. And it just rolled in. You could sure tell when it got there though. And what would you do? Wait for it and get, to get ready. But, uh, oh, we, we had, uh, Everybody, of course, everybody had problems when that happened, you know, because uh, we were all in the same boat. But I've seen a lot of them come in, just rolling real slow. That old dust would be, so oh, maybe a hundred feet high, and just rolling right on in. Would you have to cover your face, or? Well, we supposed to, Chad, if it got too bad, we did, yeah. But ordinarily it was, wasn't too bad. But I covered my old place a lot of times. Towels and everything else. And were you still in Ponca when the Depression hit? Well, I lived out just outside of Ponca. Mm -hmm. That was a that was a Ponca was a pretty good sized town right there. I lived a half a mile from it. Okay. And, uh, but we, uh, we, that's where we, I spent all my grade school there. But we liked it, we all lived about the same. 
Much impact on the depression, though, with your family? Huh? Did the depression impact your family? Well, no, we, uh, my dad was a good farmer and had a nice farm. And uh, so we done pretty good. We got by. We didn't get rich or nothing, but we lived pretty good. Do you remember your first car? Dodge, it was Dodge, I think. I lived, we lived on a little old farm pretty close to town. Well, it, was, it was about seven or eight miles from town. Well, I noticed your hat says World War II. Yeah, I was patting all the way. How long did you serve? I think it was I think it was seven or eight months. Nothing more than just more than I wanted to do. <laughs> so yeah. you were in the army? Uh, yeah. Inf infantry, I guess. Well, was old Patton, he was a head of the army. Uh, did Did you ever meet him? No. He was a he was a four or five cuts ahead of me. Yep. Now, I've seen him at distance, you know, but I've never met him. Me. I just an old farm boy that got there. Where, where, huh? where did you get, where did you Park go City. here? No, no, where did you go to the war? Where did you serve? In, in Africa, Patton. Africa. General George Smith Patton yep. was his real name. Were you drafted or did you volunteer? I didn't volunteer for nothing. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Everything I'd done, I was drafted. Were you married at that time? When you were in the war? I can't remember. I don't think I was. Uh, yeah, I don't believe I was. Yeah. I think I got married after that. And, and what did you do to make a living? Oh, I worked for Continental Oil Company. Doing what? Well, we worked in the... Oh, uh, the hell did I... We worked with the company, and... Uh, and they came in what we were doing. <laughs> Did you retire from there? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. That cat was a good outfit, Continental Oil Company. It was. I think they even had a huge cafeteria from what I remember. Well, yeah, they had one. They had a pretty good size. Mm -hmm. Always want to go with a big company. They don't have many, a lot of this little stuff to take care of. This. And, uh, they don't, uh, they, they, you do pretty good. Well, how did you meet your wife? Well, she was head nurse at Conoco. Conoco was our big outfit, you know, Continental Oil Company. And uh, she was head nurse there. And uh, so we got to be together. Hit it off pretty good, so we finally finally got to. yeah. She we hit it off good. She she hit nurse. What did you do for a date? Well, we just do the average things, you know. That go to little shows and picture shows, and one thing and other. Did you take her dancing? Oh, huh? oh yeah. She, uh, she wasn't as good a dancer as I was, but she was pretty good. <laughs> but uh, I come from a dancing family, so I was, a, I was a pretty good dancer. Did you go on a honeymoon? I don't think we did, but I don't know for sure. Okay. And ha how many children did you have? Three. Three. Two girls and a boy. Mm -hmm. And it turned out pretty good. Didn't set the world like me. They didn't set the world on fire, but they make a good living. Yeah. 
Well, did you ever think you would live to be 100? No, never entered my mind. Of course, I never thought about it, you know. Did any of your brothers or sisters? Well, my, my, uh, my sister was 101, and uh, my brother was 99, 94, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of lived along. Yes. What about your parents? Sure. Your parents? Well, they, uh, they lived in their, in their late 80s, I think. So it's in the genes then? Yeah, they said. They said the right, the right genes at us. We scooped them up and where we went. <laughs> how, did, how did you celebrate your birthday? Oh, about the same as anybody else would. It, now for your 100th? Well, that wasn't much difference. It was just that, uh, what? It was just fingers on a, on a, a wall. That all it was, mm -hmm. but uh, you didn't do too much, you know, at that time. It, you had to kind of keep your eye on making a living, because right. there wasn't any very little money around. And I, we didn't have too much, I tell you for sure. But we made a pretty good living. How would how would you do baths? Yeah. How would you do bath time on the farm? When you take a bath on oh, the farm? Wash tub. Wash Most of the time when I was real small, then me, uh, when I got into high school, uh, folks come, come loose with it, uh, uh, your bath tub. It had little, little, whole, little uh, places for, for the, you to put the wash tub, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made just about a good living the rest of them. We all lived about life. Nobody had it very much. But uh, we all managed about the same way. Go, going back to your service in the war, yeah. did you see any action in, in, in the war? Well, uh, just a small amount on that. Uh, 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 it was Patton was a general. Can't even remember the name. General George Smith Patton was his full name. But, uh, I was in the reserve. We was in next in, in action, you know. We was on standby. But uh, we never got, I never seen no action. But I come close, but I never see it. And you were in Africa, you said? Well, we was in Africa a while, but uh, my main deal was, where the hell I don't remember. We was, there, we was uh, at the, the Germans, we was fighting the Germans, I know that. Were you in France? France, maybe. Yeah, well, I went in France, and, uh, England. I was in England, but didn't see no action there. France and uh, <coughs> and uh, Germany, I guess it was. Yeah. But, oh, I got me a little bit of arthritis there in that, uh, that old hand. And I don't understand that hell I'm only a hundred. Only a hundred. Are you are you right? Brown. Yeah. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> well what what's life like for you at a hundred? Same as same old, same old. What's a what's a typical day? What what time do you usually get up and go to bed and what do you do oh. during the day? We just a uh, an old uh, Temper of a farm boy. Hell, I can't remember what I done. <laughs> what time did you get up today? Uh, the time I got up to, from the farm? No, today. Oh, 
all about the same time. So the sun comes up. Sun comes up. <laughs> That's about when I go by. That's pretty early. Never get in a hurry. And what do you do during the day now? Oh, now? Now. Nothing. <laughs> I've done my share. After I reached a hundred, I said, well, stop the music. Somebody else can take over. Do you read the newspaper? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do all the things everybody else does, but I don't do them quite as often. Yeah, we just had the same old, same old as anybody else. How, how important was religion and church in well, your, your life? Not very important. And, uh, I was a Catholic and raised a Catholic, but uh, we never attended church or anything. Not a bike ride ever did. Were you a member of the parish in Ponca City? Huh? Were you a member of the parish in Ponca City? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, I didn't really go to church too much, but I had church. Mm -hmm. I was Catholic. And, uh, so you pulled for Notre Dame? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I know Fox all over in France and Germany that, uh, uh, I forget what they call that. Uh, there was a, a deal where you could listen to the Saturdays you know, broadcast, you know. And of course, boy, I had my old ear stuck up, stuck up there about four foot, and I could get the uh, the hell they call that. Uh, it was uh, where they give all the games, or most of them, certain times. And, uh, so I was a Notre Dame fan. And OU too? Oh yeah, yeah. Not OSU? No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I never take much time with OSU. Uh, did you ever visit Stillwater? Huh? Did you ever visit Stillwater oh, yeah, from Pumpkin? I, well, I only lived about 10, 15 miles from there, Stillwater. Yeah, we just old folks. Did your mother sew? Oh, yeah, all the time. Make your clothes or your oh, sister's? Well, she, yeah, she started out making my clothes for. You got up to about 15, 12 or 15, and she would uh, buy them, somebody else do the sewing. But all up until that time, she sewed, sewed a lot. Did she make quilts? Oh, yeah. Did she she done the whole wall, the whole thing. There's some, usually when they made quilts, there's several of them women would work together. Would, would the county agent come out to the farm? Oh, he would come around quite a bit, but he went other places more than we did. Were you in 4-H or FFA? I was in 4-H, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, for a while, I didn't, I didn't uh, go, I didn't go to the meetings very much, so. Did your father farm with horses or with a tractor? Well, he started out with horses, then he kind of got a tractor. And we had a pretty nice farm, it's 240 acres. That's pretty big. And uh, good, pretty good land. So uh, I had a brother and sister older than me. I was the youngest one. They took out, went to better deals. So I 
I'm the only one standing now, my whole family. What do you think your secret to a long life it has been? The what now? What, what's your secret to longevity? Pet your parents. That's the secret. What was that? Your parents. Parents? You look at your parents and see what they done, or what, they, what they're doing. But uh, that's the best thing in the world is check your parents. And they got a pretty good chance of doing what they do. If they, if they live a the pretty good long life, you got a good chance. Now my, my family lived a pretty good life up in their 90s, and some of them up that over a hundred, on a hundred. So they've done pretty good. That other, other families don't, didn't make it so good. They died young. But you always want to look at the family, see how they get, how long they're living. Well, how did your parents come to be in, in the Ponca City area? Well, they were raised there. They were raised? Yeah, outside of it. Well, where had their parents came from? Yuck, your grandparents, where did they come from before the run? Oh, Arkansas City okay. is where they started to run at. Okay. They come from the, uh, old Kansas. Okay. Were they German or English, or do you know? Oh, yeah, they was uh, English. English. Them Germans had it pretty good. They always uh, lived kind of by themselves, and there's always a cut higher than you were as far as they knew how to farm, you know, a lot better than we did. Mm. What were some of the things you would do for fun? As a, as a young, oh, young boy. Oh, about the same old thing as you do now. Not, not much difference. Go fishing? Huh? Go fishing? Oh, we fished and we done everything. Just, uh, yeah, we done a lot of that. Bicycle? Did you have a bicycle? No, I never couldn't afford a bicycle, but, oh, I had a real good horse. What was his name? Diamond boy had a big diamond in his, in his, and boy, he could boy he, he had the sweetest wall the run that you ever seen, and just like a just like a cradle, but uh, he only had one eye. My dad paid fifteen dollars for him, but boy he was a good one, but didn't. After seven, eight years, he got to, that other eye started by calling him trouble. So uh, we didn't run him or nothing, just let him go in the pasture. <coughs> and he went blind to that other eye. Mm -hmm. And we just let him go out there in the pasture, and then he walked over. Her big high cliff there and broke his leg. Oh. So none of us would shoot him. So we finally got a an old boy that we knew, a good friend of ours, that didn't bother him at all, didn't bother us. He come over and shot him because he fell down in a culvert and he couldn't get up mm. out of this culvert. He only had one eye. Did you have any pets? The dogs or cats? No, my brother did, but I didn't. And my sister, me and my sister never had no pets. Mm. But my brother, he did. He was older than, than us. What was the favorite thing that your mother would cook for you? Well, about the same thing that we cooking now. What, what were family holidays like? What, what was Christmas like at your home? Well, we had our get-together, and uh, it was real good. Do you have any traditions? Any what? Traditions or, or rituals that you um, used to do? No. I 
like some families open presents early or some can. Well, if we, we had presents it's like everybody else. We come out smelling out, smelling like a road, but we've done all right. Did you ever have a favorite gift you received? Well, they probably was, but I don't remember. That area had the 101 Ranch. Oh, yeah, did, I've been did there. You? See, that's, uh, that closed down. I got to be about uh, 15. Up until that time, I was out there, boy, that was a big deal. Really big. Tell us about it. Well, they, were, uh, they had this, this the man, the older brother, there was three brothers in 101 Ranch. And the uh, oldest one was a brain. But he lived a pretty good life, but he died. Them the other two, they couldn't, they couldn't run nothing. They run it the ground, broke it off, and uh, that was the end of the Hunter One Ranch. It used to be a big one. They, in fact, they uh, had uh, shows all over the world at, uh, at the Hunter One. What kind of shows? Uh, uh, right, uh, Buck and Bacco and everything, you know. It's all cats, all shows. Horse deal. Western or whatever. Yeah, Western, yeah. I couldn't think of that. And say, uh, when you're getting a hundred, you forget something. Uh, you're doing pretty good. Well, I'm satisfied with it. And and Mr. Marlin, did you ever run into oh, him? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was, he was the biggie there in Palm City, you know, but I've seen him as thought, but I never was in that category because. He was two or four steps higher. And do you recognize the name Angie Debo? Mm -hmm. Angie Debo? No. Debo? He's from around down there, too. No. He wasn't around Palm City, or I knew him. Mm -hmm. They used to have a, a, I think it was a, Fit him so much, the public would fit him so much sweets that he, he finally got the diabetic and he died. And, uh, he was a big, I can't even think what it was, but every, every, every kid come in there, he you know, tossed him some sweets and he had a lot of them, but he got too many of them, you know, over the years. Uh, uh, he had to pay for it. An elephant or something like that? Huh? What, an elephant or a gorilla or what? No, he was, he was just a horse, I think a horse. A horse. Well, I think it was a horse. Now, at a hundred, do you have a philosophy or a motto you live by? None. I take it as it comes. As a, go with the flow. Some of us, that's pretty good, some of us don't. As long as you kind of keep it equal on the level, well, it's not too bad. Uh, what what types of do you have any health problems or any problems nah, getting away? I've never had a health problem in my life. Never was sick or nothing. My books. I don't think they're ever sick about anything. But I never was sick at all. We had a 240 acre farm, a pretty good one. It was a half a mile from the little old town. My granddad got that in the run. They used to have a lot of land set by it. They'd, they'd have a, people would draw for it to run. You get, so you get 160 acres. Now they was, they was people from all over the country would be there to, to sign up for that run, you know. And that's how we got that form. Do you remember? Well, my folks did. My grandfolks did, but I had it before my time. Yeah. Do you remember your grandparents? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, did they live with you or? No, no, no. They, 
Hey, I do by themselves. And, and that old farm done pretty good. It kept us pretty well going. And do you have any favorite stories of your grandparent? No, no, no. Uh, what, when history is written, what do you want it to say about you? Well, I don't think there's nothing to say. I just go with the flow. I went with the flow. And uh, that was the least, least thing to do, you know. You just write a lot of go where the people goes. But, uh, but I had a good life on but in my younger days, then not a bad one in the older days. What advice would you give to others that would like to live to be a hundred? Well, uh, yeah, but it, uh, you want to look at your ancestors. That's where it's at. They know there's nothing that uh, they don't make no they don't make no magic wand that that gives you that no. to be a hundred. You look at your ancestors. If they live to be away up in their 80s, 90s, you got a good chance. My mother was 101 when she died, and my dad was 94, I think it was. And, uh, and that old folks, you always want to look at your ancestors. And you'll come along in there someplace. Do you have anything on your bucket list you still want to do? No. I just went, like I said before, I just went with the flow. Easiest thing was me. <laughs> uh, did you ever go to the county fair? Or oh, the yeah, yeah. Every year. Yeah, that was a, one of the biggies. What'd you, what'd you do there? Oh, I, I looked. Look, did you ever, ever show any no, cattle? No, we, uh, we didn't have a, a ranch that showed that cattle. We come pretty close to getting it, but uh, we didn't. Uh, but they sure, they call them uh, FHA or something like that. I thought these would be blown to this organization, but I never cared nothing about it. And you played baseball? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a pretty good ball player. Left field. Well, where did you play? Left field. Well, I mean, did oh, you other towns? Oh, right around towns. Yeah, well, all at that time, that's about all we had to do. And uh, every little town had a ball team. Well, I played left field. And, but. That's about all there was to do. And was that after you graduated from high school, or uh, was that after high school or during high school? Well, it was until uh, I got pretty good at it. It was after high school. After. But uh, I played ball all my life. That's about the only thing to do. What was the name of your team? Hell, I don't know. It's that for this town. That's okay. Well, we we all lived a pretty good life. wasn't uh, by technically real good, but it was good enough to get by. I'm satisfied with it. Did the flu epidemic? Oh, uh, we had the flu. Yeah, I had it, but it didn't didn't bother me much. But I had it. Did your mother have some home remedies? Well, they started that way, but I got they didn't. They usually finished up with, uh, they'd come in from the county agent, would come in and his, his gang would come in and take care of everything, you know. County agent. And homemaker clubs? Huh? Homemaker club? Did your grandmother or mother? Do what? Did your mother or grandmother belong to a homemaker oh, club? Oh yeah, my my mother bought a, several of them. Yeah, she did probably better work with them. 
Is there anything else you want to add before we close out? Well, I don't know of anything. And, uh, so when you retired, do you, what year did you retire? Were you, hell, I can't remember. Were you 65 or younger? I, I, was, 60, I was 64 when I retired. Okay, we, we can do that. a year out. early. And then what did you do after you retired? I worked for uh, Continental Oil Company. After you retired? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Continental was a good outfit. Big and good. But when you when you retired, did you just go back to the farm or what? No, I worked for Conoco. When I retired, well, oh, no, wait a minute here. No, I didn't do nothing. When I, I was when I retired, I was 60, 64. I liked the one year being 65, you know. So you went home and did what the wife told you to do? Yeah, mostly, yeah. But uh, we done pretty good. We had the three kids, and, and uh, they all turned out pretty good. No, no complaints. Well, all righty then. We thank you for sharing your story well, today. I appreciate you stopping by and showing how important I am. You, you know? are. <laughs> you certainly are. I, one thing I do, I lie a lot, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs>